Greyhound Racing has enjoyed a return to form over the last decade and it's now recognised as being the second biggest spectator sport in Britain after football. For one of the UK's oldest stadiums, success has come from hard work and a family history steeped in the four-legged sport. But most importantly, its great achievements were born from the premise that Greyhound Racing is nothing, if not a great night out. From success comes growth, and Walthamstow now proudly employs over 500 dedicated members of staff, achieves a tote in excess of £14 million and boasts an annual attendance of over 300,000 punters. The stadium is now run by eight descendants of the founder, William Chandler, but his beginnings were very humble in comparison to the legacy that is now a monument of his success. Well, he started life uh, as a street bookmaker, an illegal bookmaker in London's East End had sort of runners on all street corners everywhere. From there he progressed to betting at the races and uh, well he had the number one pitch on the first pitch number one pitch as you come from the members in every race course in the south of England and from there progressing to being a rails bookmaker and on the rails he stood next to William Hill, uh, Joe Coral and Max Parker who was the founder of Ladbrokes so he was in uh, good company.